prophetische Royal Court of Arms Ministerium die reformierte Pentekostal angelsächsischen und Kaplan Bischof Erzherzog Dr. Robert L. Maxwell, th.m. ph.d. von der Pkam, Herzog von Pommern. Livland Gründer von Sipkam, Oberst der Royalguard Pommern und Livland, Feldmarschall von PCAM. Punkt und Livonia, Feldmarschall von PCA.M. Punkt und Ritter des Heiligen und Militärische Ordnung der Ordnung der Verdienste des Programm von p.r.c.a.m Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bishop Arch Duke Dr. Robert L. Maxwell of the Prophetic Royal Coat of Arms Ministry, Duke of Pomerania and Livonia, Colonel of the Royal Guard of Pomerania and Livonia, Field Marshal of the Prophetic Royal Coat of Arms Ministry, and Knight of the Sacred and Military Order of Merits of the Prophetic Royal Coat of Arms Ministry, and today I shall be doing a message out of the Book of Joshua. So let us open up with a word of prayer <coughs> and invite God into this service. Dear Father God, we come before you and ask you to anoint this message, empower it. We repent of our sins of omission and commission and ask you to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Fill us up the Holy Spirit, make my preaching and teaching acceptable to you. Christ Jesus' name we pray through the power of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Joshua, <coughs> chapter 8. Joshua, chapter 8. chapter 8. Joshua 8, colon 1 35. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid or discouraged. Take the entire army and attack I, for I have given to you the king of I, his people, his city, and his land. To you will destroy them as you destroyed Jericho and its king, but this time you may keep the captured goods and the cattle for yourselves. Set an ambush behind the city. Three so Joshua and the army of Israel set out to attack I. Joshua chose 30,000 fighting men and sent them out at nightfall with these orders. Hide in ambush close behind the city, and be ready for action. Fight when our main army attacks, the men of I will come out to fight as they did before, and we will run away from them. Six, we will let them chase us until they have all left the city. For they will say, the Israelites are running away from us as they did before. Seven, then you will jump up from your ambush and take possession of the city. For the Lord your God will give it to you. Eight, set the city on fire, as the Lord has commanded. You have your orders. Nine, so they left that night, and lay in ambush between Bethel and the west side of Ai. But Joshua remained among the people in the camp that night. Ten, early the next morning, Joshua roused his men and started toward Ai, accompanied by the leaders of Israel. Eleven, they camped on the north side of Ai, with a valley between them and the city. 
12 that night Joshua sent 5,000 men to lie in ambush between Bethel and I on the west side of the city. 13 so they stationed the main army north of the city and the ambush west of the city. Joshua himself spent that night in the valley. 14 when the king of I saw the Israelites across the valley, he and all his army hurriedly went out early the next morning and attacked the Israelites at a place overlooking the Jordan Valley, but he didn't realize there was an ambush behind the city. 15 Joshua and the Israelite army fled toward the wilderness, as though they were badly beaten. 16 and all the men in the city were called out to chase after them. In this way, they were lured away from the city. 17 there was not a man left in I or Bethel who did not chase after the Israelites, and the city was left wide open. 18 then the Lord said to Joshua, point your spear toward I, for I will give you the city. Joshua did as he was commanded. 19 as soon as Joshua gave the signal, the men in ambush jumped up and poured into the city. They quickly captured it and set it on fire. 20 when the men of I looked behind them, smoke from the city was filling the sky and they had nowhere to go. For the Israelites who had fled in the direction of the wilderness now turned on their pursuers. 21 when Joshua and the other Israelites saw that the ambush had succeeded and that smoke was rising from the city, they turned and attacked the men of I. 22 then the Israelites who were inside the city came out and started killing the enemy from the rear. So the men of I were caught in a trap and all of them died. Not a single person survived or escaped. 23 only the king of I was taken alive and brought to Joshua. 24 when the Israelite army finished killing all the men outside the city, they went back and finished off everyone inside. 25 so the entire population of I was wiped out that day, 12,000 in all. 26 for Joshua kept holding out his spear until everyone who had lived in I was completely destroyed. 27 only the cattle and the treasures of the city were not destroyed, for the Israelites kept these for themselves, as the Lord had commanded Joshua. 28 so I became a permanent mound of ruins, desolate to this very day. 29 Joshua hung the king of I on a tree and left him there until evening. At sunset the Israelites took down the body and threw it in front of the city gate. They piled a great heap of stones over him that can still be seen today. 30 then Joshua built an altar to the Lord, the God of Israel, on Mount Ebal. 31 he followed the instructions that Moses the Lord's servant had written in the book of the law. Make me an altar from stones that are uncut and have not been shaped with iron tools. Then on the altar they presented burned offerings and peace offerings to the Lord. 32 and as the Israelites watched, Joshua copied the law of Moses onto the stones of the altar. 33 then all the Israelites, foreigners and citizens alike along with the leaders, officers and judges were divided into two groups. One group stood at the foot of Mount Gerizim, the other at the foot of Mount Ebal. Each group faced the other, and between them stood the Levitical priests carrying the Ark of the Lord's Covenant. This was all done according to the instructions Moses, the servant of the Lord, had given for blessing the people of Israel. 34 Joshua then read to them all the blessings and curses Moses had written in the book of the law. 35 Every command Moses had ever given was read to the entire assembly, including the women and children and the foreigners who lived among the Israelites. Israelites defeated I. Joshua read the book of the cursings and blessings to the Israelites, which we can find in Deuteronomy. It says if you do it God's way, you'll be blessed. If you do it your way, you'll be cursed. And the whole book of the law. I would include the moral and civil and ceremonial law. Do it God's way. Blessings, do it God's way. Cursings. After the Israelites dealt with the sin that prevented them from defeating I, God spoke to Joshua and said, I'm going to give you I, the city of I. You're going to win this battle. You're going to defeat them. And just as God said, they defeated I. And then this time they got to kept the, kept the spoils, the treasures, and the cattle.
God gave the gave Joshua the military strategy of how to defeat I. The God basically said, if you follow this strategy, this military strategy of defeating I, you shall win, you shall be successful, you shall be victorious. And that's exactly what happened. And the same thing goes for you and I. If we, we, same thing goes for you and I. God will give you the victory over your battles in your life if you follow God's military tactic and strategies on how to win the battle, how to win that victory. If you follow it to the T, follow it. Follow the military strategies of what God has set down for you in Scripture on how to win your battles in your life. If you follow them exactly as God tells you to follow his military strategies, you shall win, you shall have victory, and you shall win the battle. 